So you're looking for a business payment platform and you're having some trouble deciding. Well, in this video, I'm going to break down two of the most popular options, Melio and Bill.com, to help you decide which one is right for you. So we're going to go through a brief overview of each platform, the pros and the cons of each, and then definitively which one is best for you. Now, I do want to take a moment here to acknowledge that Melio has been one of the longest standing partners on the channel, and I really appreciate their ability to sponsor videos like these and make this possible. However, one thing that's really important to me is to maintain a level approach here. So we are going to be talking about the pros and the cons of each platform. And if you want to sign up for either one, I'll leave links to both in the description below with the best available offer. Now to cut right to the chase, here is the TLDR. If what you need is a straightforward and cost effective method to pay not only US based contractors and vendors, but also vendors and contractors in over 80 plus countries, then you're probably going to want to look at Melio. With Melio, you're able to save money across a lot of different avenues like free ACH transfers and low and no fees on a lot of other stuff. And so from a cost perspective, Melio definitely comes out ahead. However, if you're managing a large enterprise, you've got a lot of complicated data, a lot of moving pieces, and you're prepared to take on a little bit less user-friendly of a platform, then it might be worth looking into Bill. But if you want to know the why behind these and really dive into the details, keep watching. And we're going to start off with the similarities between these two platforms. Now on the surface, Melio and Bill.com are both online business payment solutions and are more similar than they are different. That being said, the differences can be quite significant, but let's start off with the similarities. There are six key similarities you need to know about these two platforms. First is their payment processing. So the core functionality of both platforms is facilitating business payment processing services. They let you send and receive payments quickly and conveniently online. Both platforms also offer payment tracking. So users are able to see the status of different payments on both platforms and understand where in the process they are at. This allows you to easily keep track of your numbers and receive reminders when you need to. Both platforms also have a lot of different accounts integrations and work seamlessly with a lot of different accounting softwares, making it easier to manage payments and financial record. Exactly which platforms they integrate with does vary a little bit, and we'll dive into that a little bit later. Similarity number four is their payment approval workflow. So both Melio and Bill.com allow you to set up different workflows if you need to have different stakeholders approving payment. So if you need your bosses okay to get things approved, you can automatically set that up on both platforms very seamlessly. As payment platforms, payment security Security is also very important to both Melio and Bill.com. Both platforms employ a lot of different safety and encryption measures to protect your private financial information. And the sixth and final similarity is that both Melio and Bill.com allow you to pay your vendors with a credit card, even if the vendor does not typically accept credit or debit cards. So now that we've gone over the similarities between both platforms, let's dissect the differences to determine which one is going to be better for you. The three core areas we're going to focus on are costs, advanced features and user reviews. Starting off with costs, Melio offers low or no fees for payments, whereas Bill.com has a fee structure starting off at $79 per user per month for full functionality. So let's start off and dive into what those Bill.com subscription tiers actually look like. Well, they basically got tiered paid plans with a free demo option. The base plans are essentials and team with the choice between payables and receivables features. So the essentials plan is $45 per user per month. This includes central centralized inbox, invoice scanning, bill.com dashboard access, unlimited document storage, ACH check and international wire transfers, standard approval policies, and up to six user roles. Then on the receivable side, they offer customized invoice templates, automatic invoicing, payment status tracking, automated email reminders, ACH and credit card payments, auto charge and auto pay, as well as data import and export. The team plan comes in at $55 per user per month and adds in more accounting integrations and different user roles. Now the corporate plan comes in at $79 per user per month and includes the payables and receivables features from the team plan. So to get all of the different features and functionality, you're looking at that $79 per user per month price point. And then on top of that, bill.com also offers payment processing, which has separate fees on top of that month monthly subscription, which we're going to dive into right now. So starting off, bill.com has an e-payment or ACH processing fee of 49 cents to send and receive. For physical mailing of checks or invoices, 
you're looking at $1.69 per check payment or $1.49 per invoice. To get paid via a credit card payment, you're looking at level three merchant fees, processing rates at 2.9%. With international wire transfers, you're looking at a $0 fee for payment in local currencies or a $14.99 fee if the payment is from USD to overseas. If you want a same day or next day ACH transfer, that's gonna run you $9.99. And if you want a fast pay by check, you're looking at $22.99 to overnight a check, $17.99 for two-day delivery on a check, and $11.99 for three-day delivery on a check. So as you can see, there's a lot of different ways that you might be paying for bill.com from the monthly subscriptions to the various fees that you're likely to run into if you use the service regularly. Diving into Melio, the fee structure is actually quite different. First off, there are no subscription tiers and Melio is free to use with no monthly subscription costs. In terms of any additional fees you might run into, an ACH transfer on Melio is completely free. The first two checks you send out every month are going to be free as well with subsequent checks costing $1.50. Now, if credit cards or debit cards are not accepted by your vendor, you might run into a 2.9% processing fee on Melio, same as you would with bill.com. And if you wanna send a fast ACH transfer to get your vendor paid within one business day, it's going to be 1% of the transaction size up to $30. A fast check, which will get your check to your vendor within three business days, is gonna run you $20 on Melio. And international payments are going to run you a $20 fee and can only be sent in USD. Now on the accounts receivable side, anyone can receive payments fee-free on Melio and they don't even have to be a user. So if you wanna use Melio to pay one of your vendors, they don't have to be on Melio. You can just use Melio on your end and they will receive payment however they would like, whether it be an ACH transfer, a paper check, et cetera. So on the fees side, pretty clear who comes out ahead. Now let's dive into the advanced features. Now, both platforms are gonna allow you to do the basics as we talked about earlier, but bill.com does provide you with some more extensive financial management features like accounts receivable, financial reporting, and invoice management. Diving in a bit deeper, let's talk about five of the key ways these platforms vary based on features. First off is with automation. So bill.com offers a lot more automation features that you're not going to have access to on Melio. Melio does have some automations, but they are quite basic. Next is international payments. So while Bill and Melio both offer international payments, Bill does come out ahead here because they allow you to send payments to over 130 different countries, while Melio has over 80 countries that you can send payments to. Now the platforms also differ on which accounting platforms you can integrate with. Bill.com currently integrates with QuickBooks, Oracle, NetSuite, Xero, Sage, and Microsoft Business Central. Melio's integrations, on the other hand, are QuickBooks, Xero, FreshBooks, and Microsoft Business Central. Next, we've got user interface. So Melio definitely takes the cake on this. Melio has a beautiful and intuitive interface that is very easy to use. Melio also has a mobile app that makes it very easy to pay vendors on the go. Bill.com, on the other hand, is likely gonna take a little bit longer to get used to, and you might have to invest in some training to really get the most out of the platform. Now, the last big feature difference comes down to scalability. Bill.com is definitely designed to handle larger scale financial operations and is suitable for businesses with complex financial needs. Well, Melio, on the other hand, caters towards small businesses and simpler payment requirements. Now, in terms of user reviews, Melio comes out ahead substantially with much better user reviews. With an average Trustpilot rating of 4.5 stars across over a thousand reviews, they come out far ahead of the 2.9 star Bill.com. Beyond Trustpilot, but Melio also scores higher on Google reviews, Captera, software advice, as well as G2. Now, much of the complaints about both of the companies have to do with their customer support. However, Melio does provide a help center, which does serve to alleviate most of those early hurdles when getting started with the platform. So in a nutshell, bill.com is not for the small business owner with simple needs, but for those who have more complicated payments and a larger set of complicated data, it might be useful for them. Bill is also better for companies with entire financial departments and a lot of financial data. Melio, on the other hand, is perfect for small and medium-sized businesses. I think companies that have simpler needs and prefer to avoid any fees. I definitely know that every penny counts when it comes to running a small business. And so finding ways to cut down on fees, definitely a priority. So depending on your needs, I'll leave links for both platforms in the description below with the best available offers. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.